Yo, what's up, guys? Yo, what's up, guys? This is your boy at Bucas17, aka Check OG. What's what's going on, guys? Uh, yo, I'm making a quick video, uh, pretty much a recap or slash review on this fucking game. Um, this game, I mean, it is good. Uh, I've never really been a Need for Speed fan. Um, I've always been a fan of Gran Turismo and stuff like that, but lately, I mean, these are the only games that we get. Pro I mean, there's Project Cards and and uh, that other one. I forgot what it was called. <laughs> but uh, but I mean, I wasn't I, I wasn't a fan of those games. I mean, the the one game that really truly satisfied my racing urge was was uh, the Crew, and that was only because they had a giant fucking map. They had pretty much the entire United States, you know, uh, it, it was drivable. So, this game right here, I'm going to say that it is cool. It reminds me of older games, like Tokyo Extreme Racer and stuff like that. Um, because of the fact that you have to race uh, certain like uh clans or but i mean that's pretty much every racing game every arcade racing game there's out there pretty much has that component now but i mean the game is good i, I paid nine something for it it was on sale that the deluxe edition was like 12 something but i didn't get it because it, it just came with like a, a fucking bmw or something like that and I don't really give a shit about a BMW. I'm not gonna drive BMWs on. I mean, I'd rather drive a Porsche than a BMW. So, so I don't know. Um, I didn't. I didn't go with that. So I ended up going with the cheaper version, which was the regular version. And it, like I said, it was nine bucks on sale. So nine dollars is not a bad price for the game. So. Um, I mean, the downside of it is it is a digital game. It's not a physical copy. I can't go if I don't like if I don't like it, which right, which is pretty much what forces me to play the game because if I even if I don't like it, I have to finish the game because <laughs> it's a digital copy and I can't I can't resell that game. I mean, I'm gonna have the good thing is I'm gonna have it forever. The bad thing is that it's not physical copy and I can't sell it. So, so I mean, but either way, it was cheap. I was entertained for many, many hours. I mean, I played it for several days straight, trying to get the hang of it and the driving and whatnot. The driving, like I said, is, is a little different for me. I'm more used to like, uh, I, I'm like, this is aimed more towards the drifting than uh, like, like uh, Gran Turismo, which had, you know, d like drifting to me would be, for example, like rally racing. That would be my kind of drifting, I would say. Or anything that has to do with dirt, like bikes and and stuff like uh, rally racing cars and stuff like that. That's cool with me when when you're drifting that way. But in a car, like I want to race, you know. Like I'd rather dr drag race or an actual circuit race with the normal car or or a performance or circuit car than you know than to doing drifting all the time. I'm not a big fan of drifting, but. Um, we do have, like I said, we do have Gran, uh, Gran Turismo uh, online coming out at the end of the year. And then we have uh, Need for Speed coming out soon. That's probably pretty much the reason why I bought this game, so that I could kind of get an idea of what it's like. Because I'm, I'm like, I've never played Need for Speed games. Like I said, I've never been a fan of them. But this game is not bad. It's more of my style of game. Like yet, like I mentioned earlier, Tokyo Extreme Racer. That was one of my favorite games. Uh, from back in the day, Tokyo Extreme Racer Zero and and uh, and all those Tokyo Extreme Racer Two. Um, I still have two, I believe, for PlayStation Two. Um, let's see what else. Um, oh yeah, overall I give it an eight out of ten. I mean, it's not the greatest racing game ever. It it does have some cool features. It has some uh, cool uh, upgrading features as well. Um, you can, uh, up, you know, fuck with the handling. You can fuck with uh, the tuning and your gear as well. The paint job. You can do wraps. They have community wraps, which is like uh, wraps that people create. I, I'm assuming. I, I haven't got too far into that because I'm more into the story right now. 
And I mean, that's really what I'm into, the story, or, or not the story, but just the, the whole career aspect of it. <laughs> so, I, so I can see my car kind of evolve and progress and get better. But the whole uh, performance tuning and, and whatnot is a little different. It's kind of like an RPG. They have it set to where you can buy the different uh, performance types of, of uh, systems instead of like buying a different range of prices. This one has more of like, it'll tell you, okay, well, this is a performance. And then this one's going to be whatever the R stands for. And then this one's going to be the E, which is like elite perform or elite parts or something like that. But I mean, overall, it, it's, it's, it was entertaining. And like I said, I bought it on sale for nine bucks. It's no big deal. Um, and I wanted to make a quick, uh, video recapping the, the game or re review re slash recap. Cause, uh, I know I made a gameplay video and, uh, you know, the, you know, the video that I was showing was pretty much, uh, just, uh, me at the very beginning of the game, you know, getting to uh, know and understand the mechanics and, and the driving and the uh, speed of the cars and, and the turning and whatnot. And, um, it wasn't very good gameplay, but, um, either way, I'm, I'm not going to do any gameplay right now. Um, the game, I already have the gameplay on the channel, so I'm going to let that gameplay stay there for this but uh this is just gonna be a quick uh, uh view of how i play i normally play on uh on uh, first person view it's the way I, I feel more comfortable racing um the porsche has been by far my favorite of the cars i have bought a skyline the 2017 or not what is it is a nissan gtr uh, 2017 I did buy that car and that car did not really uh, help me in any way the, as soon as I got this car I was pretty much smoking every car in, in my way but either way right now I'm stuck on a, in a position where I have to use the story characters car to to beat the character so it's kind of difficult because it's the same fucking car um, but anyway like the game is is good like i was saying it, you know the, the it's got a, tons of of uh, objectives in the game the tons of of uh sprint races and drift races that you can do i mean it, it, the game is gonna uh bring some entertainment value of course uh and of course at the price that i bought it at is it's you know it's pretty fucking good so i mean i got it for nine bucks you know i'm not gonna complain so, but anyway, that was that for this. Like I said, I do give it an 8 out of 10. Just because I'm, I'm not a big fan of the, the, the driving or not, nothing like that. Uh, I mean, I like games where you fucking race. Like Gran Turismo and stuff like that. I mean, I like to race, man. And I mean, I don't know about how, how, you know, the types of games that you like, you guys like to play. I mean, if you enjoy this, of course, you know, go pick it up. I mean, it's pretty good. It's not shitty if you like these kinds of games it's you're gonna you're gonna definitely be entertained by this game it is pretty cheap right now so I, why not you know the new one's coming out if you want to check out this game so that you can kind of get an idea what the second one's gonna be like or the the newest one payback then you know i don't see why not if, if go check it out on the playstation store see if they got a sale going on see if they got it on sale check it out and then uh, you decide whether you want to play the, the uh the uh, new Need for Speed Payback or whatever it's called, uh, and then um, of course you have the Crew 2 coming out, and you have Gran Turismo at coming out at the end of the year. So, you know you have a lot of other choices by then. Of course, you know some people don't like to wait that long, so you know why not buy an old game? It's pretty much what I'm doing. And uh, but yeah, that was that, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe, hit me up, guys. Let me know what's up, and I'll see you guys on the next one.